So former bad girl Christina, former baddie star Christina, made a post on her Instagram shading a certain someone, comparing them to Diddy. And I noticed that not many people have said anything about it. Nobody's talking about it. But you better believe we are. Welcome back to Damien After Dark. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the channel if you don't mind. That helps me get in the algorithm. Get in the comment section below and leave me your thoughts and opinions on this episode that I'm making right now. And if you want to donate to the channel, in the description box below will be some ways that you can donate, all right? Thank you guys for the love and support. Appreciate that. So, Christina. Uh, so, the, Christina made this post a week ago, two weeks ago. And I've had this saved in my phone for a minute, and I was like, I need to do a video on it because nobody else is really talking about it, right? And I don't want Christina's voice to go unheard because this is going to go in our little evidence file in the future, okay? When the, when the documentary come out, this is just going to be the little evidence folder. Because um, I don't know if y'all saw, but Christina made a post. And, you know, everything that's been going on lately with the Diddy stuff... You know, the accusations, the video that was released of, of him, what he did to Cassie. I mean, it's just been a lot, right? So, in the, you know, all the craziness of that going on, Christina, you know, decides this is a good time for her to speak up and give us a little something. Give us some crumbs. And she posted this to her Instagram. Now, shout out to BGC Obsessed. Because I got this from them. I am going to cite my sources, okay? I got this from BGC Obsessed. Copyright disclaimer, I do not own this, okay? Um, nice picture, by the way. Christina looks very... She looks very beautiful there. I like that look on her. I like that hair. I like the makeup. I like the little fringe jacket. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's giving. Um... Y'all see Diddy, right? I know someone just like him, personally. Everything comes to light, brother. Paid or not paid. Yeah. Had to take a puff on that one, baby. Um, because we all know. Let's let's not let's not beat around the bush here. <clears throat> right let's not be fake we all know who christina is referring to and that is the lemon pepper stepper okay um but the fact that she's comparing him to diddy child that's wild because we know that diddy is a monster and that's not that's not no allegedly that's my opinion and that's from what we've seen from the videos that man is capable of anything. We know what he's allegedly done. So the fact that she has, that she is comparing lemon pepper, allegedly lemon pepper. That's my opinion that it's lemon pepper. Who else could it be? You know, she says, y'all see Diddy, Diddy, right? I know someone just like him personally. Did, and who else does she know that is a multimillionaire or billionaire, even though lemon pepper is not a billionaire? Who else does she know has you know, close to an amount, uh, uh, cl close to the amount of money that Diddy has. Who else? Do, who else do we know that Christina knows? You know, lemon pepper, right? Um, I know someone just like him personally. Everything comes to light, brother. Paid or not paid, and y'all know we've talked about it here before when we do a little bit of a rundown on all the people who have come forward. Talking about what go on over there. Judy. Christina. Sarah. Um, who are the others? Bad and Bougie. From One More Chance. Jayla. Um, God, there are so many more. I just can't name them right now because I just smoked a blunt before this video and I probably shouldn't have done that. But y'all know, that was just five off the top of my head and I'm high. Now, give me a sober motherfucking mind and a piece of paper and a pen, bitch, and I can really give you a list of people who have come forward and said things. Um, 
um, I just think, you know, I, I, I wanted to do this video because I feel like when Christina says things, people don't really pay attention to her. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like this didn't get any traction really other than BGC obsessed posting it. Um, and y'all know we talk a lot of baddie stuff over here, a lot of bad girls club stuff over here on the channel. So I was like, you know, let me not let Christina's voice be unheard which i'm sure her fans saw and she's probably got a lot more followers than i do but again i just wanted to put this out there because i wanted to hear from you guys on what you thought about this because you know allegedly there were rumors that lemon pepper got christina pregnant allegedly and then paid her to have an abortion allegedly now, she says, everything comes to light, brother, paid or not paid. So that made me wonder, did she have an abortion and he not pay her? Does he owe her money? Which she could be speaking in other terms, like, you know, you got you to gotta pay the piper for your, for your bad deeds. But it also could be a little subliminal. Like, you know, you owe me money. I know you owe me money. This is a little shot at you. And she didn't say any names because she doesn't have to say any names because she knows that we know who she's talking about. And, you know, I wish Christina well. I hope she's doing well because I really like Christina. Um, you know, she's not my favorite bad girl or anything like that, but she seems like a cool chick. She seems level-headed. She just seems like she got caught up in the minutia of this game that is entertainment industry and reality TV. You know what I'm saying? I feel like maybe she lost herself for a little bit because we know she was she was out there for a minute. Like, we thought she was on something. I don't know what. And she might not have been. So forgive me, Christina. But I've always thought that Christina was, a, you know, somewhat just a, a cool girl. You know, a cool chick that you could kick it with, smoke with, talk with, you know, talk shit with. That kind of girl. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um... But I feel bad for her because if that's true, what he paid her to do, I feel bad for her because that's horrible because most women, if you ask them, they don't want to have to do something like that, right? Nobody wants to have to do that to their child. Um, but <sighs> Christina, come after dark. We, we need to talk, Christina. We need to talk because I got some questions, but I have a feeling that she's under an NDA and that's why we haven't heard much. And that's why she kind of does these little posts here because I feel like Christina is under an NDA and she can't say much, but she wants to say so much because she's so pissed. At the same time, you think about it, you were on this show, these alleged traumatic events happen to you. And then the show goes on and all these people that you thought were your friends and had your best interest in mind moved on and are making tons of money and are out partying and are still doing their alleged, you know, disgusting activity that they do. The coercion of it all, the alleged coercion, the alleged, you know, um, assaults, all those kind of things. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Just the stuff that go down over there. I ain't got to get vulgar. I ain't got to get into detail because y'all already know. But I hope that she gets her peace, and most importantly, her peace, if she hasn't gotten it back already, and gets her money paid to her that's due. Because, you know, I'd love to see Christina come back to the show in a way, but I doubt that's going to happen. A lot of the girls that I would like to come back, like Judy, I don't know. Natalie did say there's a pathway for Judy to come back, I think. But I don't think that's a good idea for Judy. Even though I want Judy to come back, I don't think she should come back. Because, like, I just don't... For every, for every reason that we've been talking about here, nothing good comes out of it other than the money. I mean, you're pretty much selling your soul for a quick bag, right? Well, I want to hear what you guys have to say about what Christina had to say. Do y'all think she's talking about the lemon pepper stepper? Or do you think it's someone else and I'm just reading too far into it? And if you do think she was 
talking about him and comparing him to Diddy. What do y'all what do y'all think about that? Do you think it's going to eventually come to light and do you think that he owes her money? Did he allege it, you know, cuz the word on the street was for a while, I'm not making this up, that I this is just what I heard that he had you know, got her pregnant. I don't know if she was the one that he gave an STD to. I don't think so. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. He gave one of them the clap. We know that, allegedly. We know, we allegedly, we've heard that he gave one of them the clap. But I don't think it was Christina. I don't know. But the pregnancy thing, that was the thing. And you know what? That also had a lot to play into why Christina was not in Batty's um, South, allegedly. Allegedly, a lot. I know I'm saying that a lot, y'all. I'm just doing it to protect myself, okay? Protect me and you. <laughs> Um, but she, if y'all remember at the beginning of Batty South, Christina was supposed to be on the show and Natalie was like, Christina's on the way. And then Natalie gave some lame reason why Christina couldn't be there. And she lied and said like, Christina just didn't show up. Um, when at the end of the day, allegedly what had happened was the whole lemon pepper drama of it all was going on. You know, she fucking, allegedly she was fucking on him at that time. Yeah, listen, I don't, I don't know. I just talk about it and report on it, okay? It's just what the streets were saying. We, I, I would love to hear from Christina herself. Maybe one day she will come forward and speak about it. Would love for Christina, I would love to have her here and talk to her and interview her. Maybe one day, who knows? Look, but I'd love to hear from you. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this whole situation here. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like this video because that helps me get into the YouTube algorithm so more beautiful people like yourself can find me, okay? If you want to donate in the description box below will be some ways that you can donate and um, I, I really appreciate that so much, okay? There's PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, and my Amazon wish list down there. Um, if you like this video and you like content like this, stay tuned for Damien After Dark, the podcast airing June 2nd, right here on the Damien After Dark channel. Okay. That is going to be airing at 9 30 Central, 10 30 Eastern, where we'll be talking pop culture, politics, hot topics, celebrity news, fashion, sex, relationships, everything in between that you want to talk about is going to be happening. All right. I love you guys so much for watching and I appreciate you for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye.